Right, so these are the stock pipes. Nothing done to them yet. We're going to have a listen to see what they sound like. the stock pipes before we start debaffling we'll have a listen later once we got the baffles out and take it from there right this is the first plate you have to remove that's held on by three little pop head rivets so just use a, a drill drill the heads off and then pop the plate out with a screwdriver you'll be left with that the carrier. Now this pipe has to be cut back as tight in there as you can. You've got to protect the edge of this chrome with tape or rubber, anything so you don't mark it. I'm using just a hacksaw blade with a rab wrapped around it to cut that pipe. Bend this tab back out of your way just to make it a little bit easier for yourself. See if I can show that. It's tight for space and it is so that's all you want to do really is just bend that tab out of your way so that you can get to that pipe by there. That's what you need to cut in there. It's tight. Once you've done that, you're ready for drilling out. So I'll show the next stage once we get to there. That's what I mean, you just got to get a hacksaw in there. I'm just using a, a blade with a rag. I'm finding it a lot easier to cut on the pull stroke. So I've got the blade so that as I pull it back, it's doing the cutting. Not forward, but backwards. I find that's helping a lot. And it's just a case of you just got to keep wiggling away and wiggling away. Once we've got this trimmed off, we'll go to the next stage. Finally, after some persistence and many cups of tea, the pipe is free and that's what you need to remove in order to get to the end of the baffles in there now a stage one debaffle all you would do now is around this outer edge using an 8 or a 10 mil drill bit as you drill 8 10 holes all the way around and that would be your stage one debaffle. That's going to give you a lot more noise, a little bit more horsepower because there's less back pressure, but not much. So that would be a stage one. I'm not happy with just a stage one. I'm going for a stage two. So what I need to do now is I've made a little wooden bung with a centre hole that I'm going to drive in there just to guide my hole saw. Now this one I think is a, a 50 mil, 40, 48 I think, 2 inch 50 mil hole saw. That then I'm going to use to drill through to free up the baffle inside. Once that's drilled and it's freed, what you've got to do then is put more grips or some form of grips that you can lock on to this edge and you've just got to work this back and forth up and down for umpteen minutes and minutes and minutes until you eventually break the actual baffle free now this is the baffle that is inside and that's how it'll sit inside this end is what we would have cut off and it's this edge inside the exhaust that you snap in when you're working the baffle up and down in and out to try and snap it so it will free itself and come out now that does take a long long time so i'll get on with that and we'll pick up in a little bit so remember now we've had the 
video before. This is after debuffle, second stage. So I hope that was helpful for that showing you how to debaffle your VN900 custom on this case with a stage 2 debaffle.